Hey guys, Ryan the Fan Guy. Here's a Casablanca Four Seasons Three in brushed nickel with plat and the platinum side showing right now. And this is my childhood version of Casablanca Four Seasons Three because this is the platinum side and the other side is cherry wood. But but I know a French restaurant in Mashpee called Blue used to have like two of these, but unfortunately, sometime they got replaced with Harbor Breeze Classic Style Twos. I didn't like what they did with their Cosmo Four Seasons Threes because they were pretty nice fans. So, anyways, um, without further ado, here's Low. I do like the low speed of this fan. It reminds me. It gives me back. Brings brings me back memories of going to Blue. Well, first when I saw these, they were off, but the next time I saw these, they were on low. And my school has a couple, has two of these too, in white. And the maintenance person actually likes these fans. The maintenance head likes these fans because I know he thinks they're easy to install. They're a budget fan and they're the contract tra contractor specials. And I think these are decent fans. But the one, what, but the ones at my school, they're on short down rods, so I can't really feel that much of air, a breeze from them. I could feel some, some breeze from them, but they, they should have been on longer down rods. So all they just because if they're on shorter down rods, all they just do is push the heat down in the winter time. So here's medium. And when I do zero to high with this, it sounds like the one, the second one that the good capacitor because the one one the very eleven in control has a bad capacitor. It doesn't spin very fast on. Doesn't spin very fast on um, high at all. About medium. Here's high. I know also E-Man Fan also has one of these in white too. The one that looks like the one at my school. And he also got one in, uh, he also got a Polish Brass Four Seasons 3, uh, Hugger. That looks like one in the one, in like, a condo called Nordigin. I stay in the condo called Nordigin that has a few Polish Brass Huggers and a Polish Brass versions of these. And actually, he also has a, a Four Seasons, I don't know about the outside. I forgot if he has an outsider, but I know e -Man Fan also ha got another one of these in bronze. It spins a little faster, though. And Hosspower has one in white, and his spins much faster. Maybe it could have been an earlier model. That's why the earlier models spin faster than the later. And my camera stand's about to get loose, so tighten it in. And do airflow test. I need to update the phone soon. It's moving decent breeze on this. Actually, a lot of people think these are junk, but they're actually good fans. Because I'm feeling a lot of air from it. And so far it's not wobbling. I tested it in reverse too. It doesn't wobble at all. Because that's why. Because these fans have set screws. So I'm going to have to test them first before I do videos. Because I like showing reverse. And I have to test it on higher reverse. And see if it doesn't loosen itself. And if it does then I'll have to tighten in the set screw. Because that happened on my concentral one side. And I'll shut it off and do spin down. And put it in reverse. With my concentra one time, I actually um, actually put it on high and then it started loosening itself. This would actually, if I had a house or owned a condo, this would probably be like a good kitchen fan. Like maybe I'd install this in my kitchen if I ever owned a condo or a house in the future. Because these are pretty decent fans and I'd like to have a fan in my kitchen if I had a condo. The tainture on this fan is pretty shiny too. 
Oh, also, I've also mentioned about the Four Seasons 2 before. Like, they started having their Four Seasons models made by Hunter in 1999, and it became the Four Seasons 2, not the 3. Four Seasons 2s actually don't have the hang truth. Don't have the hang truth. They have just the regular ball and socket. But the Four Seasons 3s, I think, I don't know when they were thinking, when they came out, but I think probably guessing 2002. But the, two, but the Four Seasons 3s started having hang truths. So here's low. There's also, I also see, I also went to a restaurant today, actually. I saw a couple, a few Casablanca fans and a few cool fans. I saw a Hunter Arnhem. I saw Matthew's um, gyro fan I couldn't get. I saw a Hunter low profile Arnhem model. I also saw a cup of Fanimation Bourbon Streets and uh, Casablanca New Orleans belt driven fans. One of them had a missing blade though. But it didn't wobble though. And a couple of Casablanca Four Seasons, uh, Casablanca, not Four Seasons, Threes. A couple of Casablanca Zephyr with Four Seasons arms. And th three Emerson High Points. I would like to find Emerson High Point for my collection. Those are pretty cool fans. That's about low. Here's medium. Reverse. about medium reverse, he's high reverse. He's a little buzzier in reverse. But the buzzing will give me back memories of my therapist's old office, so the Seagull Lady Celebrity Deluxe fans. I don't know how this will sound in a solid state. I'm guessing it will probably be loud. Not about it for high reverse, here's Spin down in reverse. Put it back on downdraft. Thirty seven minutes long. The box in the front of the box, it showed a bronze one. My mom would actually like this fan. My mom, when I saw these fans in silver, my mom actually liked them. I wonder what designer gray blades will look like on this. I think it might look the same, but I'm not trying to, I, that's, if somebody, if, if I, if I if I ever had a set of designer gray blades, I think I'd probably try some designer gray blades on this. See what it would look like with designer gray blades. But platinum's also kind of a gray finish too. Anyways, that is the Cosmo Four Seasons three ceiling fan. Thanks for watching.